Good day folks, today in this video I'm going to talk about flying your drone in winter and very cold weather. So I live in Canada and uh, if you live in the northern US or in Canada as I do, you know that uh, if you only fly in pristine flying conditions, the flying season is very short. So in this video I'm going to go over some tips for flying your drone in cold and winter weather. Now I just want to say if you do fly your drone in cold weather, uh, you do so at your own risk. Uh, DJI does not recommend it. They actually have uh, uh, operating temperatures that the drone performs in and uh, you can check that out on their website. I'm not sure what they are offhand. Uh, so don't hold me responsible if you go out and fly in the winter and uh, you uh, crash your drone or it uh, disappears on you. So basically the problem with flying drones in the winter is the battery. Uh, the batteries do not function very well when they're cold. Um, there's a chemical reaction that takes place within the, uh, the batteries and uh, when they're cold they just don't uh, perform the way they should. But there are some uh, things you can do to still have a safe and enjoyable flight. So the first thing you want to try and keep the drones and especially the batteries warm. And uh, you can do so just by, you know, keeping them in your car if you're driving to location. You know, just keeping them in the car until you're ready to go. Once you exit the vehicle, you can keep the batteries in a pocket of your coat on the inside if you have inside pockets. And that helps keep them uh, warm as well. Your body temperature will help keep them warm. The other thing you can do are use things like this. These are hand warmers and uh, putting these in your pockets will definitely help keep the batteries warm if you put the batteries up against them. And I usually recommend putting these in your drone bag as well. If you have a backpack or just the case that came with say a fly more combo, you can stick a couple of these in there and uh, the bags themselves aren't insulated per se, but there's a lot of padding which help hold the heat in. So a couple of these in there and it'll keep things nice and warm, keep your batteries warm as well. Now as for launching your drone, I definitely recommend picking up something like this. This is a foldable launch pad. Uh, you can get them on Amazon fairly inexpensively. and. Uh, you don't want to have these in the snow at all. Um, you know, sometimes you can uh, take off from maybe the roof of your car, uh, but it could have snow on it as well. So I usually bring one of these with me, these launch pads, and uh, you know, you can lay it down on a hard surface and uh, you don't have to worry about getting snow up in your gimbal or your motors because you know if this is warm you get a little bit of snow in there it's going to melt turn to liquid and uh, you know you could get some problems there so definitely uh, pick up a landing pad now when you launch your drone what i usually recommend is let them hover for a minute uh, put them up in the air let them uh, just sit there and warm up make sure the engines are warm now one thing you got to keep in mind your drone once it's in the air especially if you're flying at a high rate of speed will cool very quickly so it's a good idea not to fly as aggressively as you normally would. Uh, keep it close to you because if there is a problem, you know, you don't have to go hiking, you know, a mile away to try and find it. When I'm winter flying, I usually like to keep it uh, very close to me. Uh, definitely don't be flying over anybody because if there is a problem and uh, it falls from the sky, you don't want to hurt anybody. The other reason you don't want to go too far as well is that the batteries will deplete quicker in the cold weather. So, you know, if you're used to going out a certain distance and coming back with no problem, your flight time will be significantly reduced. So you might be going out somewhere that you normally would fly and find out you don't have enough battery power to get back. So definitely stay close by. And personally, I like to keep the flight short. Uh, you know, if you can get 20 minutes out of a battery, you know, if you're flying a Mavic Pro or, um, you know, 15 minutes out of the Mavic Air, keep your flights to about seven to eight minutes. And that way, you know, you're going to get back with plenty of battery power and uh, you don't push it right to the limit. Keep in mind as well, if there's a lot of moisture in the air and it's below freezing, you could get ice built up on the propellers and uh, different parts of the aircraft. So that's the other reason why you want to keep it short. Uh, bring it in, you can check your propellers uh, because once you start uh, getting a lot of buildup in there, it can affect the performance and cause it to malfunction. So we're nearing the end of winter here in Ontario, uh, but definitely we still have some cold uh, days ahead of us. And uh, if you're getting a new drone and, uh, you know, say the Mavic Air that just came out, uh, you know, and you live in Canada, you're still going to have a bit of cold flying, uh, flying time. So definitely follow some of these steps and you'll be able to get your Mavic up in the air sooner instead of waiting for the nice spring weather to come. Definitely pick up these hand warmers. Uh, they're not too expensive. I buy them on Amazon and I think I buy them about 50 at a time. And uh, they're under $14, I believe, in Canadian funds. Uh, I'll include some links down below where you can pick them up. Uh, most retail stores sell them, like, you know, big uh, box stores have them as well. And they do last a long time. These ones say up to 10 hours. Uh, I usually bring some unopened ones with me in case I'm out longer than I th think I'm going to be. And uh, they start to cool off. I can put some fresh ones in to keep things nice and toasty. 
So as you can see, just by taking some extra precaution, you can safely fly in the winter, and that really helps extend your flying uh, flying season, especially when you're in a cold climate uh, where you get you know long winters uh, like Canada. It definitely breaks up the winter and uh, makes it a little bit more tolerable because uh, only flying for uh, four months of the year just will not do. Well, folks, that's it for my video. Thanks a lot for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos, and we'll see you in the next one.